one of the biggest mistakes I see writers make, whether they've been just started writing or whether they've been writing for a while, I know I did this for a long time, is point of view shifts. They're not fully understanding point of view. So listen, point of view is a huge, huge choice that a writer makes. And when we make that point of view choice, even if we've got multiple characters telling the story, we create a container. And that container holds the essence of the story. And if we kind of break it here and there, whether we hop into the point of view of another unintentionally or my personal favorite past mistake, <laughs> wax poetic and tell the story in a kind of like fanciful way that isn't aligned with the choice that we made and what we've decided to, to um, how we've decided to tell the story, then it breaks that continuity and the reader's like, I'm not buying it. I'm not, even if it's kind of like, under the radar for them, there feels like a break in the contract between the story and the reader. So one of the most important things you can do for your story is when you make your point of view choice is really dial in the sense of the consciousness of your story. What worldview is your story holding? What filtration system? I sometimes call the point of view um, the filtration system because it's moving not only through the mind and voice of the story, but the body, or sorry, of the, of the narrator, but the body as well. So when you think of point of view, when you work with point of view, are you being consistent? Is the voice being consistent? And that doesn't mean there can't be tonality shifts. There do that doesn't mean there can't be variety in pacing. But is the story born out of the same consciousness, is the same container holding it the whole way through? Even if you're changing points of view along the way, you want to create a continuity. And obviously, if you are having multiple points of view, some really clear transitions. So point of view, really study it, learn it, let it sink into your body so it can show up in your stories.